across the country, Florida conjures up the thoughts of the tropics. But we know that north central Florida tropical plants sometimes aren't very happy. But in this week's What's Growing on TV 20's Alex Calamia shows us an exception, a pocket of the tropics, enduring the outdoors through hot and cold here in north central Florida. When you walk in here, it really doesn't feel like you're in Gainesville. You could just escape into this forest. We import butterflies from across the world, so the plants themselves also hail from all across the world. Oh, all right, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Florida Museum of Natural History and the Butterfly Ranch Here, people give butterflies all their attention, but the butterflies have their eyes on the plants. And we should, too, because these tropical plants are surviving outside in a climate that sees an average of 16 freezes each year. We still will see freezing temperatures. It just will stay a de degree or two warmer. Underneath the screened enclosure, Ryan has found success growing the plants that he loved in South Florida. There are plants that we, we, we've had that were growing in my yard in the house that I grew up in that I literally dug up and transplanted here to this exhibit. This Jamaican point set is only protected with cloths during hard freezes and has been here for five years. Tropical rose hydrangea. It's also a short day bloomer and butterflies are absolutely crazy about it. It's very cold sensitive though. It's one of the most cold sensitive plants we have. That's why the leaves look the way they do. Unlike actual hydrangeas, this hibiscus relative is solely tropical. And another faker, this clump of roots. Believe it or not, it's alive and thriving. For that reason, it's known as a ghost orchid, and it's a very special plant native to South Florida. They are considered extremely endangered in Florida, both because of habitat loss and because they are hunted because they're so valuable. The larger plants underneath this screened enclosure get no protection from the cold. Not that anybody would want to even touch this scary looking silk floss tree. It has the spikes to keep uh, creatures from climbing up the trunk, as you might imagine, taking the fruit. In this part of the state, it is extremely uncommon, and I'm not aware of any others anywhere in this part of Florida. The fronds on this fishtail palm would have you wondering if it's even a palm tree at all. We have had two hard winters in our 15 years, which resulted in all the fronds being lost. It has recovered each and every time. There are surprises at every corner if you look hard enough, and at this corner, that surprise is a rainbow eucalyptus. And as it gets bigger, the colors on the trunk of the tree are gonna get more and more intense. It's a plant that I witnessed firsthand in Miami. I go to South Florida frequently to search for and purchase new plants for the exhibit. That's where Ryan gets his inspiration for his future garden plans. I'm not sure, I wouldn't call it a, a plan, more an obsession. <laughs> Just like butterflies undergoing its own transformation. Alex Calamia, TV20 News. We were both, both very interested yes, in Yes, I love his stories.